Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for November 4th through the 11th. So the 4th through the 11th. This is for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. November 4th through the 11th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so this could happen at any time, right? Oh, goodness gracious, the Six of Cups. Thank God. Okay, well, thank God it's in reverse, right? You could be releasing somebody from the past, or there could be memories of the past that are being, you know, dealt with. But Or somebody could just be clinging to the memories of the past. We do have the past that is in focus, okay? This could be memories of your childhood coming up as well, okay? Something, something about memories of the past. Oh my goodness, we have the hangman reverse. Now this is the sign of Pisces. Um, <laughs> but this is standing up, okay? This is standing up, it's like realizing. Now I don't know if you're dealing with somebody who is starting to realize, but this could be you, this could be you deciding not to sacrifice yourself anymore. I'm not going to stand here and wait around. I'm not going to hang around waiting for somebody from my past. Congratulations. Yep, we have some uh, conflicts here. The Five of Wands, I mean, I'm not going to play this game. Why the hell do I want to play this game? I'm not going to play this friggin' game. No. I see the truth. I know the truth. I do know the truth, okay? This is the sword of truth. It's taking back your power. Somebody has received a wake-up call in regards to their past. Oh, it must be you, huh? Must be you. Being practical? Getting back in your comfort zone. Bringing your stability back. Oh, jeez, I'm crow. Oh, jeez. So, it'll be a Pisces twice. <laughs> so, I don't know what you're dealing with here, but there's some, definitely, there's some confusion, illusion, and fantasy. Something's going on behind the scenes. There's some hidden forces here, right? There is some hidden forces. Something isn't as clear as you think it is. Even though you've had a wake-up call, there's definitely some sort of... Hidden force. <laughs> Conflict. Game. Eight of Swords. There's there's removing obstacles. Eight of Swords reversed. So you could be dealing with somebody else that has had an awakening. Maybe they decide to wake up because the Eight of Swords reverse is removing obstacles that have kept somebody stuck, and somebody has been stuck for quite some time, right? But these obstacles are being removed. It, it could be you deciding to realize the truth. You see the truth. You know the truth about what has kept you stuck. The past has kept you stuck, right? But you're, you're letting it go. Thank you, Lord. Okay. This is giving up. Giving up on the fantasy, giving up on the illusion, giving up on being stuck. I'm giving up this fight. It's time for me to stand up and walk away. Be practical. Oh, the three of pentacles reversed. Somebody didn't appreciate you. Somebody didn't respect you. Lack of respect and appreciation. Hmm. 
But you've evolved, right? You've healed from that. Thank you, Lord Taurus. You have healed. Looks like you have released. Okay? Because the Nine of Wands, that's, I give up this fight. There's no more chances left. They done run out. It's time for me to be practical, stable, and wise. You've gained a lot of wisdom through sacrifice and hanging on. It's like you've been enlightened, right? You have. Now you have healed. You've went through a pow uh, time of... Uh, My mind just went blank. Reevaluation. It looks as though you've evolved. You have evolved. This period that you have been through has changed you. It has changed you. But there's still something hidden here with this moon card. There's something that you don't know. But you have been through an awakening, Taurus. You have. And it looks like you're stepping outside of your comfort zone. You're breaking free of this conflict. I'm not going to play this game. Oh, yes. So I wanted to, kn I wanted to know what, what's hidden. Right? What's what's being hidden here? What's going on behind the scenes? You're becoming one. You are becoming you are coming into your oneness. You're taking back your power. You're manifesting something new. You're shedding the old. You're going through a period of think of the snake shedding its skin to bring success and you're manifesting something new into your life. With this magician card, it's like you have found the force within you to begin again. Your your thoughts, that's what's going on behind the scenes, because this is a one your thoughts are manifesting at this time. Whatever it is that you're thinking, whatever it is that you're pining over, it's it's happening, it's happening now. These are kind of very similar cards right here. You're evolving into something brand new. And there is a brand new beginning coming. There is a brand new beginning coming. That has been stalled. Because you were clinging to control or, or trying to control an outcome with some situation that was bringing you behind you were you were holding on to something that had no nothing good in it there was nothing good going to come out of it but it's like you were trying to manifest you were trying to hold on to something that wasn't destined to be and you may have went through a period of time where you were trying to or you didn't believe it okay you didn't believe that it wasn't meant to be so you tried to manifest it back or the person you're dealing with tried to manifest it back but it wasn't meant to be this person isn't compromising this person doesn't respect you this person doesn't appreciate you and it feels like you are waking up and taking your power back instead of giving the control to this situation that you've been stuck in for so long. Ooh. This is a secret that's coming out. This is something that is hidden. Remember this hidden force? Whatever is hidden is coming out. The truth is coming out. The truth is being realized. There is. There's some sort of revelation here. A wake up call. That comes in and. It 
helps you break free of something that you were hanging on to. You're breaking free. It looks like you are probably afraid to start over. I hate to tell you. But you may be, maybe you're afraid to get taken advantage of again. You may be taking a step back as you are going th through a period of, of healing still, a transformation per se. You probably are afraid to take any risks at this time. You're probably retreating a little bit. Maybe you're going through some sort of repression because you are healing. You're, you're evolving. You're healing from the past still. I do feel like you're breaking free, but this breaking free, you probably want to do it alone, right? You're probably like, no, I just want to be alone because I'm removing some obstacles that have held me back. So it, it really feels like you guys are getting back to yourselves, but it's not happening overnight, right? You're releasing the past, releasing the past, releasing the memories, releasing the hurt, healing. But you're going through a period of repression at the same time because that's what it takes. I need to be alone right now. I just need to be alone as I release. You may feel like you're not ready to begin again right now. I'm just not ready. Yeah, you're not. It's like I'm not ready for love at this point. Because I'm working on me. With this temperance and this magician card. I'm working on me. I'm work working on my oneness. I'm working on getting back to who I'm supposed to be. With that king of pentacles. It's like I'm getting back to me. So it feels like you may be, you maybe you turn down a love offer or you're just not open to love right now. Because you're still going through this period of evolving and you, you're like, you know what, I'll be patient. I'll be patient because right now I'm bringing peace and harmony and serenity back to my soul. It looks like you... Maybe you're just hanging out with your friends. Maybe you're celebrating your newfound release. Maybe you're just starting to have fun. Maybe you're thinking about dating. There is some sort of celebration here, perhaps. Happiness. Oh, you have a new exciting opportunity, an invite. Somebody may be inviting you. You may have get an invite from somebody. This is from the 4th through the 11th. An invite, an invitation to some sort of gathering or celebration. You may get invited to something where, and you meet somebody new. And you may be conflicted about letting somebody new into your life because you may feel like it's not the right time. I'm not ready. Right, because you're still you're still focusing on, you know, the loss. You may feel like you're it's too cold. I'm too cold. My heart isn't open. I'm the the blood hasn't dried up yet. Blood hasn't dried up yet. But there is another offer. You're getting an offer. You're getting an offer, Taurus. But right now, it's like I don't want it because I, st I haven't cleaned up the last mess completely yet. It's not cleaned up. But there is somebody that is better suited for you that is interested. And, you know, you can't see it. You absolutely can't see it. It's like there is an opportunity being brought to you from above. There's that Ace of Cups. Come on now. And they're both reversed. But right now you're still focusing on that loss. You're still healing. You're still healing. 
So you are breaking free, but that takes time. And it's like the universe is saying, or God or angels is like, I have another opportunity for you. I have another opportunity for you. Can you see it? Do you want it? Can you stop focusing on the loss and see that I have another opportunity for you? Can you take a risk? It looks like you're afraid to take a risk. Because somebody didn't appreciate you. They didn't respect you. Yep, it's like you may have closed, you may feel like you, you can't give yourself emotionally to anybody at this time because you are feeling emotionally unstable as far as love goes. I'm not ready for love right now. I don't really have a full cup of love to offer you right now because I'm going through my own spiritual awakening. I'm going through my own transformation right now. And I need to put in all my effort into this so that I can be ready for love when it comes. This is a test. It's like the universe is testing your... What is the universe testing? It's testing your strength. I don't even need the strength card because you are going to be presented with a new partnership in which you probably can't deny it. They're, they're testing your, oh God, what's the word for it? The universe is testing your trust in them. Oh, jeez, I'm crow. Everything happens for a reason. They're bringing, you are going to have a new opportunity for love that is a perfect match and they want... It looks to me like the universe says you're ready and you're scared of it. You're afraid to take a risk because you weren't appreciated in the past. You have a new unexpected opportunity, a new ex unexpected invitation, or a new expected lo unexpected lover that is coming into your life that is going to really pique your curiosity and you are afraid of it. You are afraid of it. You're probably going to say, no, I can't right now. I'm not ready. Blah, 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 blah. I'm still hurting. I'm not healed. Even though, even though you've done a lot of work, now you have this unexpected choice for love that is presented to you that, you know, it's going to tempt you. It's going to tempt you a lot. And it's brought to you from above. And it's clear that the universe or God is like, uh, look, we have the Ace of Cups like multiple times here. So it's like the God, angels, whatever, is giving you an opportunity for love. And it's up. This is a choice. Do you want it or not? You're going to have to make a choice. Are you ready? Are you ready? Can you take a risk? Can you stop sacrificing yourself from, from these for these memories of the past? This person that hurt you? This person that lied to you? This person that didn't respect you? This person that didn't appreciate you? Can you let that go? Because here we have another opportunity for love with somebody that could be your perfect match if you could just give it a chance. It's time for you to break free from the past. Stand up. It's time for you to wake up after the 10. I mean, we got to it's time for you to wake up from this sleep, wake up from this period of betrayal and hurt and deceit that you have allowed to consume your life. Stand up because we have a new opportunity for you that is perfect. But you don't feel worthy. You don't know what you're worth. You're not allowing this new beginning. We're trying to bring you a miracle and you're not seeing it. 
Please have trust and faith. Try to believe. Because the storm is over. And you don't you're not you're not meant to be single forever. You've done a lot of work. And you are worthy of a commitment. Have faith and trust. Believe. You're going to be tempted, that's for damn sure. There's going to be a there's going to be a sexual attraction with this card and the lover's card that is beyond words. You could be dealing you could have a Capricorn that comes into your life. We have Taurus. We have a lot, it doesn't matter who they are, but it looks as though there is a new connection that is being brought to you that is undeniable and there's probably a deep magnetic attraction that you probably will not be able to deny. There, uh, there's going to be a, there's going to be a coming together. There's going to be a coming together that bonds two people. It's going to cause quite a freaking shake up too. It really is even in reverse. There's, it's going to be it's going to shake your foundation of independence. No shit. So you may feel like you want to be alone, but it's not meant to be. Oh god. So be prepared for an invitation Taurus uh from somebody that wants to you know that is very sexually attracted to you, brought to you from above. Not only sexually attracted, they want you. Somebody wants you. Somebody is going to come into your life unexpectedly and make you an offer that you may not be able to say no to, to even though you may feel like you're not ready. You may feel like you're, you want to protect yourself by, you know, I'm still hung up on the past. I got to protect myself. I wasn't respected, blah, 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 blah. You know, you get to that point where, you know, I'm good, I'm fine, I'm, I'm working on me, I got my shit together, I don't want anybody, I'm good. All of a sudden, oh, you thought you were good, you thought you were good, but now we have this spark, this connection, this fire that is lit under your ass that brings somebody into your life and you can't deny it, and all of a sudden... You're bound to this person. And you're being called to give it a chance. Give it a chance. Oh, jeez. Can you give it a chance, Taurus? Can you? Oh, my God. This is who you've been waiting for. Divine timing is at work. Are you ready? Are you ready? The universe says you are. Good luck. <laughs>